Now, one of the benefits that I have is through traveling the world is seeing who's doing what and, and asking myself why they're doing what they're doing. I also look at how long did they do it for? When did they change? Why did they change? So basically, if I see a commonality across cultures and across the, the, the globe, if the, if the thinking wasn't connected by the internet or by books, then I could conclude that they've all accidentally come to the same conclusion. But if I see commonality in countries that are all exposed to the same sources of the internet, then it's no longer a coincidence. So I, I am a student of human behaviour, of trends. I watch what people do. I look to see whether there are lessons in that either way. One of the greatest points of resistance I get when I tell people that what they're doing today coincidentally is what everyone else is doing, coincidentally which is what the dominant influences are in circles of teachings, people don't like that too much. They don't like being inferred that they are a product of marketing and they are being influenced. 